Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. By the special grace of God, you are watching me in Heaven and Earth Life program, the one we used to do every Sunday to Thursday, while we hold our Sabbath service every Saturday our sabbath service every saturday why also we also do deliverance prayer where we pray together in the night by 11 p.m nigeria time that one is every day except friday so the lord will bless us in the mighty name of jesus christ please let us pray our everlasting Father, eternal rock of aging, the beginning and the end, the life living God, the Almighty, the Holy One of Israel, we appreciate you, be thou glorified and exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, our Lord and our God, our Lord and our God. We pray today. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to touch our heart, to fill our heart with your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to release your fire in the name of Jesus. We ask you to touch every heart, to touch every heart, touch every ear, touch every eyes, so that they might see the light of your word and understand the deep deep secret of your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fill us, O oh Lord, with your mystery and, uh, and help us, O oh Lord, with your understanding. Thank you, Father, because of answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you, everybody, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, to this message, by the grace of God, uh, I will not take much of your time. I'm only here to warn you according to the instructions of God. I'm here to warn you according to the instructions of God. Please and please, please and please, I will love you to listen attentively. Listen attentively. Listen attentively. I know why I am saying this. Please listen attentively so that you will not say you didn't hear. I pray you will, you will not regret in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, the Lord has been speaking to me and I've been trying my possible best to pass out the information that God has been giving me to people. I've been trying my possible best to pass out the information that he has been telling me concerning the, the place of refuge which God has prepared for his people. We are already in the end time and his coming is more nearer than ever before. The truth of the fact is this. The coming of Jesus Christ is right now. I mean right very now. If you look at Matthew, the Bible talk about the accident that is going to happen when Jesus Christ is coming. The Bible say there are things that is going to happen, things that is going to happen. So he mentioned this in Matthew chapter twenty-four. He said when all this thing is happening, he said, he said he, he gave us some solution there. He tell us what to do. He tell us what to do. And what to do that the solution he gave to us as a Christian is what I want to tell you today. The Bible says that war is going to happen. It, saw, it said that country will rise against country. Nations will rise against nations. He said there will be famine everywhere. He said there will be pestilence, there will be different afflictions. There will be serious persecutions of the Christians everywhere. This is one of the things he said. If all this thing is happening, he says his coming is as near as before, more than before. He said, All these things is going to happen. He said, Kingdom will rise against kingdom, 
different evil things will begin to happen. In this time, we begin to see a lot of kidnapping. We see rapes. We see homosexual as a normal life in some countries. They see gay as a normal life in some country. These are the, one of the things that Jesus Christ has told us that is going to happen. And he said it will happen. Earthquake will happen. There will be earthquake. There will be different, there will be different, different even things that will be happening. There will be signs in the sky. You might not know there are a lot of signs that are already happening around the world. If you are in, if you are in YouTube or you are in social media, you can ask it. So there are a lot of signs that has already been happening, that have already been happening. So all these signs are already coming to pass. And this is what I want to tell you, that prayer cannot avert all this prophecy. If prayer cannot avert the Jesus coming, prayer cannot avert prophecies. What Jesus Christ has said that is going to happen, it will definitely happen. Because he cannot be a liar. The Bible says, let all man be, be a liar, and let God be truth. He cannot be a liar. He has told us what is going to happen, and we are already seeing what is going to happen. If you are waiting that it's not going to happen, it will be in your eyes that it will happen. We are not praying that even things will happen, but it is a prophecy that must come to pass. The Bible talks about the love of God will was cold and cold, was more cold and colder. In fact, with the way, if you look at the way church is going now, you will see that the love of Christ is washing more cold. Even things are happening now in the church. False prophets everywhere. Miracle is what people are looking for. Deliverance from all serious problems, all series of problems is what people are looking for now. Buying anointing, possessing anointing, selling of an handkerchief, possessing of bangles, of different kind of things, looking for man of God to lay hands on them so that they can get their healing, refusing to put their trust in God. Instead of that, they are chasing man of God around, looking for money, Racing money, racing for all the, of these things are what is happening right now in the church. The love of God, not as the days of those days, whereby people will resign their works. They will go and resign. They will tell their boss that they are no more working and they want to go and serve God. All these things are no more happening. The love of God of the old times are no more after anymore. The love of the world, love of money, love of the things of this world, lot of the things of this world. I say love of the things of this world, love of traveling to America, love of traveling to white country, love of staying in white country is what it has filled the heart of people now. They don't want to sacrifice anything for God any longer. The love of God is no more there. All the love they proclaim and they, pro they, they, they say is, is just from their mouth. It's no more from their heart. Everybody wants to travel out. Everybody wanted to ride car. Everybody wanted to build house. The love of God is no more there. The love of husband, the way some people love their husband is more than God. The way some people love their wife is more than God. To the level that their wife is the one that is controlling them, teaching them to do wrong things against the will of God. He said their love was, was cold. Their love was cold. Their motive and their intention will be, I want to marry, I want to marry. They will not care of what God is saying any longer. Education will take over the heart of people. Education. I want to finish my master's. I want to go to university. I want to be a professor. I want to be this and that. This will be their heart because the, word, the love of God will wash cold. Those who are strong in faith before, they will begin to pass light. They will begin to masturbate. Masturbation will feed the heart of many Christians. Pornography galore will be in the church because it is already in the end time. Nobody wants to serve God any longer. Nobody wanted to worship God any longer. All their mindset is to enjoy life. He said, the Bible said, Jesus Christ said, if you begin to see all these things, the end has come. 
wickedness will be so high. I was watching a video this morning and I feel very pain. I feel so pain. And nobody, they just went to one particular only net church or so. Only net church and they went to that big church and they go and dismantle that church. They didn't allow them to carry anything out of that church. They destroyed everything. They leveled ground. They leveled everything that, that, that whatever, whatever is, is in that church. Everything. They leveled it down. And nobody is questioning anybody. Nobody is questioning the person who, who do that. No more justice. Everybody is suffering. Church is suffering. You cannot speak and say, this is my right. They will kill you on top of that. He said, if you are seeing other things, believe and know that the end has come. When you begin to see pastor preaching that ministry is not a sin, that roses is not a sin, that uh, weaving or weaving is not a sin, that palming their hair, using leaf, uh, leaf, uh, leaf, uh, wet leaves, uh, using uh, tiro, using all this kind of uh, powder or so or thing, wearing the clothes that is transparent, wearing expensive clothes, that it is a sin, that is not a sin. You will know that the end has come. When they begin to turn what is what is nature to what is not normal, what is not normal to nature to natural things, you will see it is not normal. You will see that all these kind of things is a sign that the end has come. When the pastors begin to argue with pastors, pastor, the first pastor is saying that there's God is looking at the heart. And the second one is saying that you must be holy within and without. And the one that is saying that he said you are you are just putting people in bondage. When they begin to see the law of God as bondage, when they begin to see holiness and righteousness as bondage, these are the sign that the end has come. But do you know what? God has a plan for every Christian. He knows all these things will happen. He know that they will be killed. He know what will happen. He know there will be famine. He know there will be afflictions. This is the solution he said to us that we must do. If we open the book of Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 24, From when you look at from verses uh, 1 to verses uh, 14, is talking about uh, what is going to happen. What is going to happen. But this, we are going straight to the solution that Jesus gave to us that we should do. He said, verse 16 now, verse 16, 24, verse 16. He said, Then let them which be in Judea flee into mountain. Are you listening at all? He said, if you see all this thing happening, 15, he said, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation, spoken, that's 15 now, spoken by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place. Who so read that, let him understand. 16, he said, then let them wish be in Judea, Flee into the mountain. 17. Let him which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of his house. Do you hear what I said? Let him which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of his house. It means property will be perished. If all this thing is happening, God will require you to go and hide. He is saying, go and hide in the house top, not in the lower ground. He said, let those who are in Judea, let them flee to the mountain. He's not talking to those who are in Judea only. He's talking to everyone. He said, those who are in the, he, 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 he said, let them fly. Go, let them stay in the house top where they can be saved. 
Now 18. He said, Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Wherever the incident happened, the acid, the war happened, if you didn't plan it, now you sabi. If you didn't plan ahead of time, now you sabi. If he caught you along the way, to it will be difficult. Some people will die in the forest because by the time they run to the forest, there's nothing to meet there. No food, no anything. Because they disobeyed the instruction, earlier instruction that God has made that everyone should prepare ahead of time. This prophecy was spoken so that you and I can prepare for what is to happen. Do you see that? He said, let him that is in the field. He said, he said let them not go back home to go and take loot. It means that if the incident is going to happen for 10 years, it might be only one cloth you'll be wearing for that whole 10, 10, 10 years. It means it can be only one cloth you will be wearing for that 10 years. For that 10 years. Only one. So if you don't prepare now, you will go hungry and die in hungry. Because when you didn't see something to eat, what will you eat? God is preparing solution ahead of time. So that people can rest can be rescued. Why can't he tell us that stay there? Let the Chomti come and meet you. He didn't say that. He told us to flee. Why can't he say that? Tell us we are we are staying in the town. Say there. She be you, you she be you will die for die for me. He didn't say that. He said flee. It's not that when the death comes, you will not die. But what he's trying to say is that try to rescue yourself. Is this you? Now, if you are not fleeing from that country now and the grace is over in your life to the level that you cannot even come out anymore, how will you do it? By the time the government begin to command that no food, that until you collect CCCs or until you collect ships, micro ships, or until you collect vaccine, that you will not eat. How will you be able to come out of that country? When the already country has been blocked, that you must collect sheet or man, man, uh, vaccine to come out. To buy to buy food again on, uh, on, uh, on restaurants, a bit, so, uh, or, 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 or more. You get there, they ask you for your, 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 your microchip. They ask for your CCC card, or they ask for your, for your vaccine card. And you did not ask. How will you be able to rescue yourself? One thing I know is that you will remember today that I have warned you. What do you have in the white country there that is made, that is big in your eyes that you cannot rescue your life now? Some are even in Nigeria. That work, they thought that the work they are doing that it will sustain them for long because it, it will sustain you. Next year is going to be terrible. Terrible. Because there is already plan up everywhere. Every, there is already plan up. War is already awaiting. They have built one world uh, religious center already. Everything is already at place. Everything is already arranged. So by next year, everything will be carried out in a heavy dimension that you will have no grace any longer. None that you can still run for your life. Why can't you run? Now God gave me a date. He said, I must be in the prayer camp before 24 December. I didn't know what will happen by that time. Who knows whether that 
24 December or after that time, there's going to be diff- terrible things that is going to happen. Who knows? Who knows? And we are te- we are saying this now. It's as if we are we are wasting our time. Why can't you rescue your life? Rescue your life. Rescue your life so that you don't deny Christ. By the time every evil thing begins to happen, and you have no means of surviving. Because by the time you begin to say, ah, let me come on 25, on 25, I'm so sorry. I will not be able to attend to you. Anybody that must come now, let them come now. This November, let them come and arrive this November so that we can screen them. Why are you wasting time for crying out loud? Jesus Christ has gave us a solution and you are not following it. Eh? He said, then let, let them which be in Judea flee into mountain. Let him which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the feed return back to take to take his clothes. 19. And woe unto them that are with sight, and to them that give suck in those days. Do you see? In I say, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Number 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to the time, no, nor ever shall be. Abi? God is said that, hey, 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 hey. He said the tribulation that will come, it will be so heavy that even in the issue of humanity on the earth, there will never be such tribulation like that before. I believe let us read it again. Maybe you didn't understand what we are saying here. 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to the time no no ever shall be ah 22 listen to 22 22 now he said and except those days shall be shortened there should no flesh be saved but the the elect sake those days shall be shortened it means it, I, I wonder those pastors who are saying that is after rapture that the tribulation will come is a lie. Then why is a let among here? It means we are going to pass through it. We will pass through it as an elect. He said, for the sake of a let, he will shorten the days. He said, because if we didn't shorten the days, no one will survive it on hex. Did you understand the Bible, my brother and sister? Are they speaking grammar here? It's a simple logic now. Why are you wasting your time? They are not speaking grammar here. It's a simple thing they are saying here. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. It's very simple. Why do you want to waste your life? Very simple here. He said there, yeah. let's read again. He said, 22 now, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. He said, no one will be saved. But for the elect sake, elect sake, those who God has appointed to go into prayer camp, oh, for their sake, for those who God has chosen to go to prayer camp, for their sake, for them, for their, for their sake, for their sake, the Bible says for their sake, for them only, no anything. He said he will shorten the days. 
so that they can survive till Jesus Christ comes. Is it compulsory to walk again? When you see what is going on in your working place, as time is going on, they will begin to introduce vaccine, uh, microchip, and different things. And if you do collect it by that time, it will be too lost. There will not be place for you to go again because there will be closing grace. And you will not be able to receive it. You will not stand alone. You will not be able to hit because you will not be able to buy us. You will not be able to buy or sell without accepting these things for crying out loud. Save yourself. That's your house that is so important to you. I don't know. Save your life. Save yourself. Do allow the, the, what, the, the things of this world to enter your head to the level that you will not know what to do at the right time. Save yourself, whoa. Save yourself. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run. 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 Do not allow yourself to be destroyed. God said to me, that is giving me a limited time, like it's giving me a, a, the end grace of time, 24 December. After 24, probably there might not be grace to enter again. It will not, you are not, you will not start looking for where to go now. I will advise you to arrive to try your possible best to go and prepare yourself so that you don't get destroyed because of what doesn't matter. Do you know what God wanted to do now? One, God himself allow this thing to happen as a means of gathering his own people his own people is used to be here at that time he says it's a let you can be called and not be a let you can be a pastor and not be a let you can be an apostle and not be a let you can be seeing dreams or whatsoever and not you can be dreaming like and not be a let if you are not elected, you will not be convinced to come. Because he is the one convincing people. If you are not elected, there's nothing people can tell you will not believe. It's a sign that you are Judas Iscariot. It's a sign that you are Judas Iscariot. Even though heaven come down and come, and come to the head, you will say nothing will happen. You say we go pray. It's a sign you are Judas Iscariot. Those who are true candidate of heaven, a true elect, I mean true elect, true elect, they will be convinced to be there. They will be convinced to rescue their soul. He said for the elect's sake. He said for the elect's sake, he will shorten the days for the elect sake. He will shorten the days. He will shorten the days. <laughs> he said he will shorten the days. Don't forget, that day he mentioned, it doesn't mean that time, six months ago, handle. two years, three years, four years, he still days before him. It can last for seven years. It can last for four and a half. It can last for ten years. Save yourself. God has prepared this 
before his coming. And the reason he's prepared this is because there's no way you can serve God and still be in the world. So he created a kind of atmosphere whereby people will, be, will, will come back to the initial plan he has in the Garden of Eden, whereby he created man to worship him. He want people to worship him now in all full righteousness and holiness, whereby he can rescue them and they can make heaven. Because he know that by that time you will not be looking for money to pay for school fees. So it will be God only. Living a holy life, God only. He wants us to be shut away from the world and to focus him. So that by the time he comes, he already made meet us as a prepared, already made bride. I don't think you understand. The Lord will help you and we help us all in Jesus' name. I want you to think about it. I want you to what? Think about it. Think about it and save yourself. Think about it. Think about it. Don't just neglect the world. Don't say that is it possible. No, 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 no. Don't overlook it. It's going to happen very soon. Probably this year ending. Stroke next year. But for him to give us a date, we have to be there by that date. God bless you. And God be with you. If you are interested in the prayer camp, to come to the prayer camp, Prayer Monday. You can you can you can you can test me on WhatsApp. We will prayerfully select because it's not everybody that will be selected. So we will prayerfully select you to be part. God of God bless you in Jesus' name. Please, I beg you. You know that this message is not just an ordinary message. Please, share it to your friend. Share it in every area. Share it to your family. And press subscribe button, press notification button. The, another instruction I want to give you before you go is this. God has instructed us that anybody who have taken vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, cannot come. First qualification, you must not take it because it's an initiation of the darkness. That vaccine is an initiation of the darkness. You must be somebody who is completely born again. Then, you must be somebody who is ready to abide in holiness and righteousness doctrine of the Bible. If you are qualified in these things, you can talk, text me and uh, we can pray on it whether God will allow you to come. God bless you and God be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye.